right, that's the brackets fitted. I had originally, I was gonna fit them here on the door. Um, because I fitted them there because of the wind issue. But I'm not. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, they actually look better. When fitted in there like that. But uh suck it in seat. And that's them both fitted. We'll see. Right, after all that, I've uh, moved them. I've put them inside the door, but fitted to the top rail. I've got an ugly scar there, which I'll probably now have to do at architrave, whether I want to or not. But I think they personally look a lot better. So that's what, that was the original plan. Uh, a couple of brackets to fit at the bottom so that they don't rattle around. Which obviously couldn't. Right, I'm back on the boat now. It's um, a bit of a cold wind out there. I've got the blinds fitted um, with my security measure, temporary. Um, yeah, so you're probably wondering uh, where have I been? Um, it was about a hundred and, no sorry, nearly 900 days since my last vlog. And there's been various sort of um, issues. Um, <clears throat> one was uh, obviously COVID, so that knocked us for six. Um, and another one was um, the lock being broken. I don't think it's probably fixed now. And I've just looked on the waterways website this morning um, to two locks down this way, um, Linton locks broken and Neighbourne locks closed because of floods so we we wouldn't go anywhere this time of year anyway and um, basically we just winterise the boat, the engine and the boat, general um, calorifier stuff like that. Uh, I've come down today just to do a few jobs, um, I, was, oh, well, I actually came down last night um, and just make sure the boat's okay. It's looking a bit uh, a bit dirty. Um, I mean, we've had the boat four years, four and a half years now, and the fit out's not really finished. It's it, it's almost there. Um, just little little jobs, really. A little bit of skirting board, um, things mainly to just finish off, really. Um, but saying that. Um, we've had to renew the chimney already and the other one just rusted away over four years so we've got a stainless steel one uh, which isn't very stainless steel it's about it's uh, got some pitting on it already and we've only had it three months um so basically well that's my dog he's just uh shut up Barks randomly for no reason. He's uh, 16 year old now, so he's he's an old man, a bit like me, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, the big job that could probably do with doing is a, a bit of a repaint on the external sides because they're looking a bit dirty and grubby. And um, so I, I, I might that might be one of my jobs next year. Um, and like I was saying earlier, uh, things have changed. Um, 
I hope to retire next year from work once and for all and then take this boat on a really big trip um, you know five six weeks um, but also we've um, we've got a new project I won't tell you what that is that's a bit of a a bit of a surprise if you watch these vlogs so you might see it I'll put a little picture right at the end of this vlog and you can probably um, work out yourself what it might be but uh, that's that's to come um, I like to say with uh, Covid and closures and license increase and all that um, everything seems to be um, changing everything is changing and uh, I'll just have to go and turn that kettle off so bear with me right that's all done uh, make a cuppa so um can't remember what I was saying now but basically um we're still going to do a bit of boating there's still a bit of work still to do um and there'll be probably a bit of a paint job as well a bit more maintenance and when I retire I will be able to spend a lot more time um look, looking after the boat and and hopefully like I say we want to we want to do a big trip next year uh, 2024 um, we had originally planned for further afield with that but uh, they were scuppered by Brexit so things about like I say things are changing all the time but um, we seem to be um, in a bit of a cycle of uh, change but uh, once I retire if there's another thing that's changing I won't be working anymore so that, that, that there's that many things that are changing it's unbelievable um, so basically, uh, with it being December the 16th, I think it's a week and a couple of days to Christmas, I'd just like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous and happy 2024. Bye for now.